All right, let's switch gears now to a new program aimed at keeping your family pets safe. News Channel 9's Tatiana Favela is live in East El Paso. The first of three public meetings happening right now here at the Marty Robbins Rec Center, where the city and the public discussing proposals to make sure dog grooming here in El Paso has better safety measures. Anything to keep you safe and, and to keep the dog safe. That's very important because dogs are like little humans. They have feelings. El Paso groomer Priscilla Perez sharing her personal experience of ensuring each dog she grooms is in good hands. They have like bad days as well, and you want to be able to read whatever they're feeding off of you and they could they could feel what you how you're feeling towards them as well. City representative Claudia Ordaz Perez proposing council to add more health and safety regulations to the animal code aiming at proper training and certification for dog groomers. It's important to get that that training and that education so we're thinking we're going to make it a one-stop shop and offer offer that training on a Saturday or, or whatever may work. Other additions include shops adding camera surveillance so owners are able to keep an eye on their pet behind closed doors. Something EP canine grooming already has on lock. The camera protects not only the dogs but the groomer as well. There are Incidents where the dog's really scared just in general of being here and the groomer did nothing wrong. It's good to know like what's going on and to feel a little more secure in the place you bring them to. While a few grooming shops already offer these features, Ordaz Perez continues to make sure Borderland pets are safe and in the right care. This is just another added step to making sure that El Paso knows, um, that the residents know, the public knows that we're committed to improving animal welfare in our community. The next expected public meeting is expected to happen July 14th from 10 to noon at the Leanna Ford Washington Rec Center in Five Points area. Reporting live in East El Paso, Tatiana Favela, News Channel 9. All right, Tatiana, thank you. Well, you've